Hi guys, welcome to another chemical engineering tutorial brought to you by the ChemEng student. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the top five must-read books for chemical engineers. So what we'll be discussing is the essential books that any chemical engineer needs in order to be successful. Now, I also have an additional bonus book at the end of this video, so be sure to check out what that is at the end. So just a quick recap, what is chemical engineering? So essentially chemical engineer is the combination of engineers and scientists. And the fundamentals of chemical engineering are pretty much going to be mathematics. So this is when we use process modeling. We have chemistry, which is used in reactor engineering. We have our physics, which encompasses pretty much all elements, but more predominantly in things like unit operations, separation processes, etc. Now we have the core element of engineering, and this allows us to come to problems and with practical solutions and practical problem solving skills that every engineer needs in order to solve any problem that they face within their discipline. And then more so for us in the, the energy sector is biology. So that's things about renewable or sustainable energy, for example, biomass, biofuel, etc. And then finally, computer science. Computer science is key, especially for systems that involve HISIS uh, and AutoCAD. There are other softwares that chemical engineers use, but these are the core two um, computer sciences that you would need in order to be a successful chemical engineer. Now, before we actually look at the books themselves, it's important to understand and appreciate the skill set required for us as chemical engineers so that it provides us some context when we look at why we chose the top five books. So the, the skills that we need encompass all elements of mathematics, unit operations, heat and mass transfer, we even look at thermodynamics with fluid mechanics, reactor design, reaction chemistry and kinetics, distillation, separation processes and process design and safety. These are the core umbrella terms for us as chemical engineers. And that can encompass a lot of different aspects in terms of employability as well. So there is a plethora of different job opportunities because we have a skill set like no other. So without further ado, let's look at the top five must read books. And the first one, we will get the elephant in the room out of the way, and that is Perry's Chemical Engineering Handbook. Now, currently we are on the ninth edition, but some universities and some colleges use slightly older versions, which are perfectly acceptable. But this is known in the chemical engineering world as the chemical engineer's Bible. This is, if you are just beginning as a chemical engineer, you may not have heard of this. This is core to all aspects of your university career. If you are uh, a recent graduate or you're an experienced chemical engineer, you will 100% be aware of Perry's Chemical Engineering Handbook. This provides us with key insights into the chemical and biological processes as well as advanced process modeling. Now the core topics that are covered in this book um, are as follows. We cover thermodynamics, there's chemical reactors, energy resources, we even go into the chemistry of spectroscopy, process economics and reaction kinetics. These are key and core elements of chemical engineering. You tend to need the, the process economics for when you do things with your dissertation, where you cost up plants, etc. The chemical reactors is huge. Chemical reactor engineering is a massive core element and it features a lot in Perry's Chemical Engineering Handbook. Same with things of the reaction kinetics. This can often pose a lot of problems and Perry's explains these concepts in copious amounts of detail and a very clear and concise way. So this has to be part of the top five. The second book that all chemical engineers should have is The Unit Operations of Chemical Engineering. Now this is the seventh edition by Warren L. McCabe. 
and this essentially covers every element of unit operations, from the basic concepts to the more complex problems. And it's one that features pretty much throughout your chemical engineering journey through university and college, and then when you go into the world of work. But the book covers typical but also unique topics of unit operations. So you have the usual suspects of heat and mass transfer, fluid flow. But then it goes into things like membrane operations. So that's the, the diffusion of materials. How we can, say, have special types of filtration systems. We even talk about absorption and adsorption. But one of the core things about this book is that it provides a step-by-step -step solution and a theoretical and practical applications. So you're getting more than just the theoretical knowledge, you get to see how it is actually practiced in real life. And often that can be the key in understanding sometimes very complex uh, problems. So this book is well worth the, the, the look. Now, the third book, and this is one that I use um, a lot, especially through my uh, teaching, is The Basic Principles and Calculations in Chemical Engineering. Now, this is the seventh edition um, by James B. Riggs, and it has to be up there with the top five, because every new student should be familiar with this book. It's very distinctive, it's yellow cover, and it's one that you should be using cover to cover. It has all the necessary calculations, a step-by-step -step solution manual is also available. We have all of these books on our um, online course resources website. It's completely free. You can access these and the solution manuals. So again, I'll put a link in the description to that and you can check that out. But this book here is absolutely invaluable to new students and as well, experienced students just looking for a recap in certain calculations. But some of the key concepts and topics that are covered in this book are mass and energy balances. That's huge. Mass and energy balances is one of the core elements of being a chemical engineer. And this book explains that very, very well. It also encompasses calculations in unit operations. It does, it deals with the fluid behavior modeling problems and it's a great mathematical revision as well. So an all-rounder, very, very useful um, citation and reference text for any calculations involved in chemical engineering. The next book is one that all new students should definitely be familiar with, and that's the Elementary Principles of Chemical Processes. And this is by Richard M. Felder. And this is similar to the previous book, in terms that it covers the mass and energy balances, but it also goes into further detail in the unit operation side. And it covers more realistic and informative real practices that occur within chemical engineering. So it likes to relate the theoretical problems that are featured in this, as well as the basic elementary calculation book, and it gives you the practical knowledge as well. So this one is well worth um, investing in and it also gives you the ability to look at the mathematical um, principles to give you an ideal integration with other citations so what I mean by that is the way in which the the problems are solved the way that they are approached is consistent with other reference texts so it makes linking the solutions between this and other books very very easy so this one is very good for beginners as well as intermediate uh, students but as well for industry experts these books are used throughout and one of these is really, really useful, especially in terms of the mass and energy balances and when you design especially reactor systems. And then finally, the top five, it has to be the transport phenomenon by R. Bryan. And this one here, this is the, the second edition, and this provides a deep coverage of several core aspects within chemical engineering. And essentially what these would be is it covers heat transfer, 
mass transfer. It even covers dimensional analysis, which is a great uh, feature. Not very many reference texts talks about dimensional analysis. We have a free course on YouTube. Um, as well as through our um, online course website. I'll put a link in the description to them. But dimensional analysis is very, very important and very, very easy to follow. It also covers fluid dynamics as well, because if we think about it, transport phenomena. Transport, we have heat transfer. That's the transfer of energy. We have mass transfer, the transfer of material. Fluid dynamics and mechanics, it's the transfer of fluids and the, the principles that encompass these. So it's a really great book um, for transport processes. And it contains detailed discussions on convective momentum, polymer flow, as well as mass transport and energy systems. So it's a well all-rounder, really great book for transport systems. And it also encompasses things for... Um, separation processes and distillation as well. So a really great book. Now the bonus book that you need, you must if you want to do extremely well in terms of thermodynamics and transport processes, you must get your hands on one of these. And these are a steam table. Now its real name is a thermodynamic and transport properties of fluids um, given by GFC Rogers. It's quite a small book, um, this is the 5th edition, and it's absolutely essential for chemical engineering students as well as professionals. I know a lot of experienced chemical engineers that always keep this book on hand because it's packed full of incredibly useful information. The information that you tends to feature in this is thermodynamic um, properties for saturated liquid and saturated vapour, as well as um, a mixture for a wide range of operating temperatures and pressures for water. And some of the parameters that can be found are things like the specific enthalpy, the specific entropy, the specific volume, but there's also a lot of other physical properties as well. And the key thing with this book is it provides all of these variables in saturated liquid, saturated vapour, and also a mixed phase system. So it gives you a wide range of data for fixed temperatures and fixed pressures. Now the bonus question in order for us to enter our competition, which is for the month of December, is instead of £500 every month, we're giving away £1,000 every month for one person for an entire year. So that works out at £12,000 in total. And to enter, all you have to do is simply like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment your answer to the following question. And the question is super easy this time. The question is, what edition of Perry's Chemical Engineering Handbook was featured in this video? So if you are paying attention, pop your answer in the comments, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and that you are subscribed to the Facebook channel because that's where we um, announce the winner on the 5th of January. So that's the end of this lesson. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this was helpful and useful for understanding what books you should be looking at for chemical engineering. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us reach as many chemical engineering students as possible. Thank you for your time and we hope to see you in another video.